Yo, what's good, y'all? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Roblox GFX animation using Blender and Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's get it. Before we start animating, if you already have a normal GFX made, you can skip to this point in the video, but if you don't, we're gonna start off by making a normal GFX first. To start off, head over to this website right here and download this free rig pack. This is a pack we're gonna use in Blender for the GFX, and yeah, it's completely free, so just add it to your cart and download it. Alright, so now in Roblox Studio, you can just open a new base plate and we're gonna be importing the character we're gonna use for the GFX. So you can use one of these plugins like this one for Moon Animator or this one. And yeah, just import the rig you're gonna use like your own character or somebody else's character and then we're gonna download it. Once your character's in, click on it and go to the Properties tab and set the position to 0, 3, 0. This will put it at the right position to export it from so that when we import it into Blender, it'll be in the right position. Now from here, right click it in the Explorer tab and go down to Export Selection and just save it on your computer as a file. Now we're gonna be exporting the accessories that your character has. So for example, the hair, earrings, whatever you have on your character. So click on your character again, click this little arrow, and we're gonna select the accessories. So just click this one, this is the earrings, and to select more than one, hold down Control, and then this is my hair. So now we're gonna right click this and then export the selection again. Save this as a different name from what you saved the full rig as so you don't get it confused. All right, now that we're in Blender, you could delete all of this, so just select it and then delete. Uh, go up to Edit right here, press Preferences, and then go to Add-ons. Now in Add-ons, press Install and then import the file of the rigs that we downloaded from the beginning of the video. And then once you import it, you should be able to type it in here and it should pop up. Just make sure it's selected. After you do that, you should be able to click this arrow right here and it should pop up. So once it does, just select whichever body type you want to use. So I'm going to be using the blocky rig because you know, that's the OG. But yeah, just select whichever one you want to use. Once you've done that, go up to the right corner and press this icon right here. So you can actually see the texture and so you know which side is the front of the character. And now go up to the shading tab, click on the rig, and right here where you see main texture, you're gonna click this X, then press open and import the rig you downloaded from Roblox Studio. So whether it's your character or somebody else's character, just import it here. After you do that, just go down here to face texture, it's just right below main texture, and press the X and open this folder and downloads. It's a folder that we downloaded with the rigs, it's called Roblox hd faces there we go and I open the folder and now there's just a bunch of faces you can choose from so yeah just pick one whichever one you want for the animation or just for the gfx and then we're going to continue all right once you've got your face go up to the layout tab press file import wavefront obj and import the accessories we downloaded from roblox studio once you import it it should be in the right location um, if it's not, that means you didn't export it from Roblox Studio properly, so just go back and redo it. But yeah, it should be in the right position, and right now it looks kind of weird, it's like transparent, so we're going to click on it. We're going to go down to the side right here, click this, and scroll all the way down until you see blend mode, and set this to alpha clip. Now it shouldn't be transparent anymore. And lastly for the accessories, we're going to connect it to the actual body, so click on the accessories hold shift and then click on this little circle right here and then press control p and press bone this will now merge it with the body so now when you pose the body in pose mode it'll actually move with the body all right from here our character is set to start animating but we're gonna get some lighting first head over to this website called polyhaven.com go down and press browse hdris from here you can just scroll down until you find the lighting scene you like once you click on the lighting scene you want, just go up to here, make sure this is on 8K, make sure this is on HDR, and then press download. Now back in Blender, go up to the shading tab, set this object mode to world mode, and then look for this. Now press add, go down to texture, environment texture, and then place it here. And make sure the color, is, uh, the color from environment texture is connected to background. And then open the file we just downloaded from Polyhaven. So whichever one you downloaded, just open it here. 
Once you imported that, you could go up to here and click this icon. Now you can see the texture you downloaded around you and you can see the lighting on the back of your character. Um, from here, we can go up to here and we could set this render engine to cycles if you want a realistic view on how the GFX will actually come out. So you see it looks much better, there's more shadows and stuff. And to make it easier for your computer to run, because it will start running slow when you put this on, when you put it on um, cycles mode, uh, you can press GPU compute, and you could also put this down to about maybe 500. Yeah, that should be good. Because all that is doing is letting you see a preview of what it will look like when it's actually rendered. Now to get rid of the background but keep the lighting, we're gonna go down here, press film, and then press transparent. Now everything around you is clear, but the lighting is still there for your character. To change which direction the lighting is pointing, we're gonna rotate the character. So press A, then press R, then press Z to spin on the Z axis. And we're just gonna rotate it until our back is facing towards us. Yeah, something like that. And now when we flip it around, the lighting is pointing the front of our character. So yeah, just adjust the lighting until you have it how you want it, and then we're gonna start animating. Once you're done adjusting your lighting, go to the layout tab, click this right here to change your viewport to make it easier for your computer. And yeah, now we're gonna start animating. All right, to start off, we're gonna be adding a camera. So press shift, press A, and then click this camera icon right here. Now, just put the camera in whatever position you wanna shoot from. So I'm just gonna adjust it, and yeah, I'll get you guys when I finish adjusting. After you're done adjusting your camera, we're now gonna start animating. So move this up right here, and this is where we're actually gonna start the timeline for the animation. So click on these lines in your character, set it to pose mode, and from here you could adjust your character however you want to start the animation, but to actually make time, uh, like keyframes in the timeline, in the timeline, um, we're gonna click this dot so it could actually record the movement. So if I click this dot right here, it'll actually make a keyframe of where I changed it compared to if I didn't, if I, if I didn't have this selected, wait, hold on, let me actually erase that one I just did. If I didn't have it selected, it wouldn't make any type of keyframe. But if I do, it'll make one. So you see how now there's a keyframe? So if I play this animation, now it's gonna move. So yeah, this is just a simple way on how to animate. And you could do this the same with uh, any objects or whatever you want in the animation. So yeah, I'm gonna speed up my animation process real quick just so you guys can see. And then I'll show you guys the final product. All right, so now that I'm finished animating, you can see that I made a simple jumping jacks animation. But yeah, now we're just gonna change a few settings and then render the animation. So we're gonna go over to this tab right here. It should be output properties. Go down to output. And for this folder, you can select uh, where you want the actual file to be exported to. So if you want it to be exported to a specific folder or just the download section, you could change that here. But the very important part, Set this file format from PNG, because it'll automatically be on PNG. Set it to AVI JPEG. If you don't set it to AVI JPEG and you leave it on PNG, the instead of the animation saving as a video, it'll save as a bunch of photos, like going frame by frame. So this is very important. Make sure you save it as AVI JPEG so it can be in video format. And yeah, from here, after you're done with your animation and everything, you'll go up to render and then press render animation. 
Rendering the animation takes a very long time, so I'd advise rendering this at night. Like you can start the actual animation whenever you want to, but when it comes to the actual render process, I advise you to do it at night and just leave your computer on so that you don't have to wait for it. Because it can really take a long time, especially if your animation has a lot of components and it's very long. But yeah, I'm going to render the animation and then show you guys um, the final product. So yeah, as you guys can see, this was a very simple animation. It only took me about five minutes to make. And for a jumping jacks animation, it's not the best, but it did get the point across and show you guys how to animate. So yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. I'll definitely answer and I hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe.